Got a lot of these crepe myrtles here on the property, so the tree trimming duties can be kind of brutal. Now it's a little bit late for me to be trimming these crepe myrtles. I had kind of decided not to do it this year, but I do want to give you a demo on this new saw that I got. And this is a Doka pole saw. And it is a pole saw that extends, I believe, to 24 feet. And you extend it by using these. You unlock it this way, you lock it this way, and then it doesn't move, theoretically. So, I'm gonna have a little demo of this. I'm gonna close it up here because I don't really need it to be extended right now. All of those are locked down. And I'm gonna take off a branch here. I'm gonna go for this branch right here. You can see I could probably do this with a normal saw. <laughs> I don't really need the extension on this one. But I'm gonna just show you a little demo of how this works. Now, so I don't tear that because once it gets down to a certain level there, the limb's gonna fall and it's gonna tear the bark off the tree coming down this way. So I'm gonna come up from this direction. And again, I have no tree trimming skills to speak of. This is just uh, what I've gained through trimming a couple of trees here. So definitely experts out here on the internet that are gonna know more than I do about this. quite a workout, I'll tell you that. All right, got that one off there cleanly, but here's something I wanna show you. Look at how these uh, things that were locked down still allowed this to move. It moved a little bit here and it moved here. That's been my experience with the saw. So one thing you can do, hopefully you can see this, you can tighten you can tighten these up with a screwdriver but you can see i've got it tightened down pretty darn good right there i don't know that i can get this one much tighter than this and you can see there's still some movement there right you could tighten this one up a little bit it looks like although i have tried on this one and i can't seem to get that any tighter so you can see i can move these right supposed to be locked down I can still move them the other complaint I would have about this if we're still talking about the negatives is the diameter of this pole I like that it's good and wide and seems to be sturdy but this is a pretty wide diameter to try to get a good grasp on here so being nitpicky there probably needs to be that wide to give me the strength that I need to stretch out 24 feet. I'll also say on this blade, I've got other saws that I use for trimming branches if they're within reach and even cutting down small trees that go through the branches and trees a lot quicker and better than this one. One that I'll tell you about here is this one, Baco Force. This is a 24 inch bow saw and this thing goes like lightning through these branches. I'll show you a little demo on this branch that I just cut off here and you'll see how quickly this goes through it compared to the pole saw. Another thing that you'll notice is uh, while I am sawing branches overhead with a pole saw, I don't have any kind of hard hat. I don't have any kind of plexiglass mask in front of my face. I don't have any of the other safety items uh, that are probably recommended for doing this. So if you want to see what some of those safety items are, 
please check out someone else's video. If you want to tell me about my lack of uh, safety precautions, please do that down in the comments and feel free to watch my other videos and look for safety violations there. Also, I do appreciate that. I'd recommend watching all of the videos, uh, maybe multiple times in case you miss anything and subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. So in case I'm not following any of the safety protocols going forward, you can jump in there and, and point that out to me in the comments. I'd appreciate that. All right, here's the branch that I cut through just now with the pole saw. So I'm gonna take this Baco saw and saw through there and show you how quickly I can get through it with this saw. If you're sawing branches or trees, you can't go wrong with this saw. Definitely recommend this one. All right, so that's my thoughts on this pole saw. I guess I would give this uh, pole saw a uh, maybe a C. I'm not saying don't buy the pole saw for the money. I think it's probably okay. I was all set to buy the silky saw. Uh, the silky saw that I was looking at, I don't think it extended quite this far, and this one was a lot cheaper. I'll have the link to both of those down in the description of this video. Make your choice there. This one definitely does work. It's a serviceable pole saw. I think there are better ones out there. I haven't tried the silky, but I've seen it. You can hear the siren back here from the firehouse. I think it's kind of cool to segue uh, into that for just a minute. I think it's cool to have a fire station right behind us. One, there's the obvious, we've got the fire station here in case we have a fire. But also, I grew up near a fire station. We used to go over on the fire station property and, and play, and it was a hill. We'd ride our sleds there in the winter. It's got a lot of good memories of the fire station. So it's just kind of cool having one right here in our backyard. And uh, we talk to the, to the firemen and wave at them as we go by, and they're good neighbors. Uh, so the occasional siren, I think, is worth it. But anyway, make your choice. Uh, silky saw, this pole saw, some other pole saw. I'll have links to these two and that Baco, the bow saw that I use, down in the description. As far as bow saws go, definitely I would recommend that Baco. It is worth the money. You're going to use it a lot around your property uh, for general cleanup and dealing with trees and bushes. So hope this has been helpful and we'll see you on the next video.